good morning. This is Barbara from Little Rock. It's Saturday morning. It's gorgeous outside. And it's uh, 77 degrees already in Arkansas, central Arkansas. And I wanted to talk this morning about how gorgeous and how happy we should be every day and plan our days. What do you do when you get up in the morning? Think about it. Create your little world. All right, so this morning, I got up and put on this little duster. So pretty. Since I'm in the house, I've already taken uh, Connor out front to pee. And then in a few, when we're through with this video, we'll head to the dog park. But until then, I want to talk about something that I, I can't believe that happiness is so simple. My son and daughter visited me on Mother's Day, and my son had brought flowers, and my daughter had brought uh, a meal. And I got a big vase. I'm sure you saw it in the video this week. I got it last Sunday. It still looks fantastic. I think it's uh, either from Walmart or Connor. Connor. Kroger. <laughs> think about Connor. And uh, which I love these because they last so long. They don't cost very much either. And it's uh, so happy. Look how happy it makes just looking at them. Just looking at them. You know, when I was driving and actually could get out and get my groceries, I used to uh, pick me up a bouquet every two weeks. And that's about how long they last. And I'm sure you know all the tricks. Cut the bottoms off uh, when they start getting a little, mm, cut them off and put them in fresh water. I've cut them this morning. Tomorrow will be the seventh day that I have them. In the process, I, I was washing, uh, finishing off one of my blueberry balsamic creamy salad dressing. <laughs> you can see, but I thought the pretty purple and the purple here, you know, was so pretty. Since we've been talking about purple being the new signature color for the summer, and so I took a, just a few, cut them off, and put a little front one here and a little red one here, and uh, just just stuck. I think there might be three little twigs out of that one bouquet that I receive on Mother's Day. Isn't that beautiful? And it looks real cute in the little container, you know. Of course, I can throw the container away if I want to. But right now, it's my signature color, so I'm going to use it. Okay. Then, uh, I found a rosebud out by the community center. And there's a bunch, you know, we have roses uh, up and down here uh, that bloom all year. I guess, I don't know what they're called. They're the roses, the bushes that bloom all, all, I mean, all summer. Not all year. All summer. I don't know if they're called Encore Roses. Or is that Encore Irises? But anyway, these are roses. Anyway, I found these beautiful buds. And they had been broken off from the, lawn, the mowing man. So he, he didn't even know he did it. I'm sure he didn't mean it. And anyway, so I decided I'd just finish breaking them off. So I stuck them in here, and I'm hoping they bloom. But I put, I found this little, out here on the side of the road, I saw this little jar. I don't know if somebody had sit, thrown it out the window or what. But anyway, I was in my hover and I saw it. And I said, okay, this is cute. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I know that it's going to work for something. And I said, okay, this is what I'll put the little rosebuds in. And, of course, I need to cut them a little bit more. But as I cut them, they'll get smaller and smaller. So I may get uh, several weeks out of this little bouquet of roses and uh, carnations. Oh, my baby birds are all in the windowsill this morning. I'll feed you guys in a minute. I hadn't fed them. And they're so hungry. A lot of little babies already need. But anyway, so uh, I got three so far bouquets out of that 
one bouquet. And that's uh, will make you feel happy. If you like flowers. I don't know, even if you don't like flowers, I guess you could enjoy a little bouquet of flowers. And one thing about the, the these are little, and so the, the surface on them aren't very large on the bottom. So no matter where you set them, see I set this one up here by Connor. I don't know if you can see it, that's Connor's throne there. And uh, my sister made that for me. It's a, his, his um, crate. And then my sister Betty designed the top. And it's like a coffee table or an end table. Beautiful black, just gorgeous. And it matches his crate. Well, I keep the crate open here, but I also put the little, I don't know if you can see or not. Let's see if you can see. I put that little foo-foo thing on there. He's right there. I can't turn it anymore for some reason. But anyway, he's, he's sitting over there on his little uh, throne looking out the window. Uh, but the one thing about it, oh, well, the little surfaces aren't that large. So you can set them anywhere. Like if you're going to have lunch on the veranda or on your patio, or you're going to go out and drink a cup of coffee, and, and you just want some more flowers around you, you just set this in a little table where you set your coffee cup, you know, just so you can see it. You pick it up, look at it, and say, oh, how beautiful you are. Yes, I'm waiting on you to bloom. But any, any of these have a small surface, so they can sit about anywhere. Just be sure that you don't get them too tall. This one's almost too tall to go in here or would flip over. But right now it's working all right for me. Now, one of the things that, the, that they give you when you get these bundles of flowers they're in like a cellophane wrap. You know, you know, you've been to the grocery store and seen these flowers in one of the flower stands there, and you just pick them up. They're four dollars, nine dollars, ten dollars, three weeks. I mean, worth of flowers. But one of the secrets is too is this wonderful little packet that they give us that's called uh, Flora Life, and I have found that if you put just a little bit not much, <laughs> into the water. It it helps just prolong them. I don't know what's in here. I read names on it, but it does, I don't understand any of it. And I didn't look it up. But I, I figure if it works and it doesn't harm Mother Earth, and I don't see any warnings or anything. Crystal clear fluorolite. Hmm. I guess I should do it. Wait, they got a dot, dot, dot com. Anyway, that's what I use is when they send these flowers. I use this after I clip them, put fresh water in the vase, put the flower, put this in, stir it up real good, let it sit for a little bit so that it'll settle in there, and then stick the flowers in. It works really good for light. Okay, I just love flowers. I, there's not a place, a lot of places in my house for flowers, uh, growing them, but for uh, enjoying them, there is. Now, there's one thing I want to share with you this morning. I, in fact, this is something I'm, I do on Saturday, every other Saturday. It's what I do is I take this, uh, uh, what is it called? Crowned at Home all-purpose garden and flower fertilizer and I discovered this really by accident they were out of what I usually use and they had it on sale so I bought some I can't remember how much I paid for it but anyway it's 20 20 20 so you can add it to pots uh, and it's got all kinds, you know, the special things that you would want in your plant food. And one thing I love about this being 2020 20, is it makes them bloom like crazy. Bloom, bloom, bloom. Even the ones I had in the house, I used this. And it made them bloom in the winter. Remember, I put videos up of my uh, blooming uh, geraniums. You know, they bloom in the house anyway if you got enough sun. But with this, uh, when I grew them, 
I mean, I had them in the dirt and everything. I just water them a little bit with my watering can every every week or so when they got dry. And I use this as the fertilizer. So I use it inside and outside. But I still also have my miracle Grow. You know, I've always use that too. If, you know, in certain other, like in my flower beds. But if I put this in my flower beds, they go crazy. They go crazy. I love this stuff. And I think it is the 2020-20. Again, it's called Ground at Home. Grown at Home. Grown at Home All per per Purpose Fertilizers. Professional and home growner, growers. Come, goes through the fruit roots and the leaves and makes it stronger and forces it to the nut. I love this. You can tell that uh, I've been using this for a year. And I think I'll get just about six more months out of it. I don't know what the due date on that is. Maybe there's not one. I don't care. I'm going to use it anyway. If my plants start dying, then I'll stop using it. But I like it. I like the results of it. And it doesn't take very much either. Let's see how much is this taken. I have a container I use, like an empty V8 juice container. You know, it's about, I don't know, two quarts or something. And I put so many teaspoons in. But it says right here, one tablespoon per gallon. Indoor plants, one half teaspoon per gallon every second week or one fourth teaspoon per gallon each time you water your plants. I like it. So I got up this morning and uh, got my coffee. We didn't sit outside this morning. Connor was a little disappointed but I had to wash some dishes that I didn't wash last night and uh, clean the cabinets and I got out this uh, cleaner you know that uh, Mrs. Myers just it really smells good I don't know if you've seen it or used it but they have uh, several different fragrances that are just so clean smelling uh, of course you know Speak and Span and some of the other companies have some surface cleaning uh, sprays for kitchen cabinets or not kitchen cabinets uh, kitchen uh, counters yes and so I used that did the stove and the microwave and the inside of the refrigerator and ha and and then I got some of that the purple uh, fancioso or flachioso or fantastioso or whatever you get a dollar store anywhere and it's a real strong I like the smell anyway so I buy, I buy that so I took a little I have this little tiny mop it's about just high enough for me and if I'm in my wheelchair or something, I can mop the floor with it. I mean, it's lightweight, and you just sort of move it around like that and clean it up. So I did that this morning and did, then sprayed the counters and refrigerator clean. And so I've got all that stuff done. Isn't that right? <laughs> Isn't that great? So in a few minutes, we'll be heading out to, uh, to the dog park. And I've got some, I'm still reading on uh, McRae's books. I mean, uh, Joe's Seminole books. You know, it's a cult fiction book. So he's, he wrote 54, 52. Anyway, I'm going to read them all if I can find them. The library has found them for me. So uh, I've, I've got five now that I'll read this week. I've read one already. And, uh, and I'll be doing that this afternoon before or after nap with my afternoon coffee. I'll st start reading back on the books. But it's a fast read. I'd love to read about Paris and how it was in the 50s in Paris, which was the height of Paris. Uh, living, I guess, right, you know, the war was over and things were changing. But anyway, uh, we'll talk about some books. I'm going through books and to, uh, to share because I have been moving books with me everywhere I moved all my life. And there's some books I've had for, I don't know why I keep books from my high school days. Because <laughs> they're good books, you know, like Gone with the Wind. Gotta have Gone with the Wind. <laughs> I 
Oh, about, anyway, I went to Cal Monte Cristo. That was one of my favorites. And Les Mraz. That was a good one. Too. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. I hope that you're having a good day. Find things that make you happy. Uh, look out your window. Sit on your veranda. Sit on your patio. Walk down the street. Put a smile on your face. And just see what happens. Just, you know, take a small, brisk walk. Most every one of those books that I'm reading by Joyce is written like you see people walking you know, in their books. I visualize as I'm reading, he's walking down the street, people are walking with their babies, or old people are walking with their purses to go down to the park and in Paris and walking along the, the same. But it's just... Uh, I enjoy reading them, I and it takes me away. I've got some Amish books that I'll be reading soon, but I, I'm reading these first because I just need a little bit something else. I want to travel. I'm getting a travel bug, but I can't travel. It's really a challenge for me. Um, so this is my little travel adventure is using this book. Well, anyway, I hope you're having a blessed day. A blessed day. And uh, remember, God has you in his hands. And pray for Mother Earth. And get outside. Even if you open the window, look out and just say, Hi, world. <laughs> if you're on, one of my friends moved to Hot Springs to, uh, and he's on the seventh floor. <laughs> he's got a two-window view overlooking Hot Springs. And that's Na Hot Springs National Park. It's a town, but it is also a park in Arkansas. And if you ever get a chance, you need to make a trip there, stay at the Arlington. It's so, it's really unique. It's old, but it's worth it. Go down Bath Row and get you a nice, nice hot uh, massage and just have fun. But he's glad he's moved there. He used to live here, and uh, he decided he'd just go up there. Well, I think he's 93 years old, so he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> And I'm proud of him. I'm very proud of him. Okay, do your life. Do your, <coughs> do your thing. Live beautifully. Live happy. And I enjoy cards and letters very much. And messages. Have a good day. From me and... Do we get Connor over here? Connor, you gonna say something? Uh, Mom, I want to go dog bark. That's what he's saying. <laughs> We're going to go in just a minute, Don Connor. We are, I promise. Bye-bye, y'all.